everyone, Emma here, and today we're learning about homeostasis. It's pretty cool because it's happening right now inside your own body. So, let's take a look at it. Okay, let's start with a definition. Homeostasis is regulation of the internal environments or conditions. That just means keeping things constant. This is both inside cells and inside whole organisms, like this little fishy. So it's important to keep these conditions constant so that enzymes work effectively. These are inside cells and they're easily affected by changes in pH and temperature. So we need to keep the conditions optimal, which just means at their best. So there are three conditions that you need to know in humans. The first is the blood glucose concentration, the second are the water levels, and the third is body temperature, which is around 37 degrees Celsius in humans. These all need to be kept at a constant. So a stimulus, this is a trigger for the homeostatic processes in the body, and it's just a change in the environment. An example of this could be uh, on a hot day, the temperature rises and your body feels hot. You need to detect that change and receptor cells are what do that detecting. Once you've got that information, it needs to be passed on to a coordination center to be received and processed. Two examples of this are the brain and the pancreas. These decide how to respond. Effectors then actually carry out the response and they restore the conditions back to the optimal level. The two types you need to know are muscles and glands, such as the pancreas. Uh, just noticing I've left out a little C there in my spelling of muscles. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so let's test yourself. Pause the video, grab some paper or just try it in your head and see how many of the six questions you can do. And then just press play when you're done. All right, so let's go through the answers. Homeostasis is the regulation of the internal conditions of a cell or organism to maintain optimum conditions for cell and enzyme function. Two examples of homeostatic control are blood glucose concentration, temperature, and water levels. What's a stimulus? This is just a change in the environment, internal or external. Name the type of cells that detect stimuli. Those are receptor cells. Two types of effectors. We've got our muscles and we've got glands, like the pancreas. And finally, a trickier one, a coordination center. This is an area inside the body that will receive and process information passed on from the receptor cells. As long as you've got the little bit about uh, processing information from receptor cells, that's the important bit. So, how did you do? In the next video, we've got the human nervous system. Click here to watch it, and if you find this useful, click here to subscribe. Thanks and bye!